just wanted to come on to here and say a little bit about how I got into renovating. I'm a mom of two, stay at home mom, so that means that I am constantly doing a thousand different tasks. Um, I started with our project down in the butler's pantry. Um, my husband and I knew that we needed some more storage, knew that we had this little cubby that had kind of been a flex area. It had been toy storage, Lego storage, all sorts of different things over the years. Going into that summer when things were really unsure, we wanted to have extra shelves, like floor to ceiling shelves to put um, paper towels, canned goods. We do canning ourselves as a family for some things. Um, we wanted to be able to store extra pasta, whatever we needed. We wanted extra space for it. Came up with our game plan, used our knowledge that we had already learned. My husband came from a family where his dad is not a carpenter by trade, but has literally remodeled every house they've ever lived in. And my husband helped with a lot of those projects. So he learned a lot over the course of that, his whole childhood on different techniques of how to stay safe, how to use different tools, tips and tricks, and just experience doing things over and over again. You learn from experience. I come from a background where my two grandfathers were big woodworkers. Um, they had massive shops on their at their houses full of different types of machinery, tools, they did projects. We watched this old house and Norman Abram. Um, we were, they were really, really big on that. I didn't learn as much from them when they were alive as I was hoping. One of them is still alive, but has Alzheimer's. But my brothers have learned a lot. So I'm learning vicariously through them. And we put our knowledge to the test. We built that pantry. We were so incredibly excited and proud of how it turned out. Um, really basic idea but it kind of spurred that passion of like okay let's do more let's build more things let's figure out how to do it later that summer we built a platform off of our patio to be able to hang our hammocks above it um, with some composite wood and other things that was another test of our knowledge and adding some new skills because it was an outside project had some structure to it um, and turned out beautiful we use it every summer um, in our hammocks it makes it really really comfortable so relaxing Great spot, I'll show you some of that later. That continued to spur it on, and we knew that we had more things to do around our own house that we wanted to accomplish. So we slowly started collecting tools, because we started out those first couple projects with not really much tools. Um, and then an opportunity, a big opportunity came to help my mom with her house. Um, so I have, a, I'll share more about that later, but that was a really big project that I ended up taking on in order to help Make sure that everything actually got done so that she could move in. Um, it was a like top to bottom cosmetic remodel. Everything needed to be changed, updated, replaced, cleaned first. <laughs> it was a lot. So more of that will come on later. But that really showed me how much I could do, how much I could figure out, how well I could problem solve. Um, even on the toughest days where I'd come home and lay on the floor crying because I couldn't figure it out, um, I still was resilient, found my resources, and then went back and did solve that problem. So over all of these, I've really come to find and lean on trusted groups that I could learn from. Um, renovating, construction, carpentry, it's really hard, at least in my area, to find courses that teach me how to do these things. So I rely on crowdsourced information. I rely on um, other friends who have done similar things to show me what worked and didn't work for them. To have social media groups where I can go and ask questions when things get tough. Um, and just lean on the experience of others to help guide my experience. But also just to do it. Just to jump in, try something new, make a cut. Maybe it doesn't work. Um, come up with a plan. See what, what works and what doesn't. And just to learn that adaptability. So... As I'm going through all of these other projects and sharing them, because I want you guys to see how, how I do things. I'm not a designer, I'm a renovator. I like to get my hands dirty, I like to do the building. So as we go through each of these projects, I'm learning, I'm trying things, trying to figure it out and then sharing it across the world, really. Um, and along with that too, I'm sharing so that my daughters can see what it's like when someone has a passion and they want to try and make it work. So a lot of these projects I do just for us. I do around our house. They make our area more beautiful, more functional, um, better quality than what we had before. So that's the main thing. And I want my girls to see that. 
my daughter made a comment as I was ripping up these stairs. She's like, mom, I don't know any other moms that would just get in there and rip up the stairs and put in new ones. That's just not a thing I see. And she's excited. She likes to see that her mom can do hard things, strong things that take some strength, take some brain power, of course, but are not common for our gender. So I'm really excited to keep sharing these projects with you. I have so much more to share on what I've already done as well as some really fun ideas for what I'm gonna do next. Um, some are small projects that maybe you could do for Christmas uh, yourself as well, and you'll get to see how I make them. Some of them are big projects, like redoing entire rooms or redoing our garage. That's one that I've got queued up here for springtime, summertime. So keep following along. I want you to hear more of my story and I want you to see what it's like for a woman to do these projects and to pull it off, make it look really awesome. So behind me this whole time, I'm sitting in the office, which is the room you've gotten some sneak peek videos on. This is that accent wall. I'm really excited to show you tonight the video of how I made that and painted that. Um, this was our test one, test. <laughs> we did this one first. This is kind of to see how, it, how our game plan all worked. And then we did another one in the primary bedroom. So I'm excited for you to see this one being technically my first accent wall and then to move over in the next few days to the primary and for you to see how that one turns out. Cause that one was completely my own design. So again, keep following along. I'm excited, I'll do some live videos, keep sharing things along the way and I hope you enjoy it.